Hey everyone, I've been playing around and doing some testing with the GWN7672 Wi-Fi 7 tri-band access point. I want to thank Grandstream for sending that to me to test out for my review. I appreciate that very much. So we'll take a look at the device. I'll take you into the specs, look at the spec sheet, but then I just want to get into run a couple of different tests live in front of you and show you the results that I've been getting here while I'm testing. Just so you know, to set the stages, um, the device has two five gig ports on the back. I have it plugged in during my testing to a 2.5 gig port on my 7822P. So it is, when I was doing the testing and fooling around with it, it was connected at 2.5, not at 5 gig. Um, so I just want to say that as a disclosure right off the bat. All right, so let's take a look at the device. What you get inside the box is the 7672 Wi-Fi 7 tri-band access point itself, and it, it's pretty hefty. In fact, I do want to show you a comparison uh, so you can appreciate the size with the 7670, the first um, Wi-Fi 7 access point that Grandstream came out with, which was dual band. You also get the mounting brackets. You get the mounting hardware, the um, installation guide and then you get the certification regulatory information sheet so real real quick i'm going to switch to the side camera i just want to show you the two in comparison let me grab the 76 70 and flip over to the side camera now and there from a comparison standpoint side by side you can see that the 76 72 is considerably larger and thicker so i guess that's to house all the additional antennas it's got seven frequency antennas it's got two for each radio plus there is one for bluetooth so that said let me bring up the specs and then we'll get it fired up and and play around and do some testing so let's get this up on the screen all right looking at the spec sheet it supports 11 gigabits aggregate wireless throughput, five gigabits per second aggregate wire throughput, integrated Wi-Fi 7 and tri-band 2x2x2x2 multi-user MIMO with MLO, which is multi-link optimization, up to 175 meter coverage range, supports uh, up to 384 concurrent clients. It has the advanced QoS, it has the anti-hacking secure boot and all of the things that all the other access points have. Self-power adaption upon auto detection of PoE. And the embedded controller, it's like the others. It can manage up to 50 local GWN APs. It can be managed by GDMS Cloud, uh, G GWN Manager, and so forth. So taking a closer look real quick at the back of the unit, let me just switch back to, actually, let's go to the top-down camera. And on the back, you have all your... Um, information and, and again like with every other grand stream device you do have your serial number Mac address and the individual unique password to log into the device and then you can see here on the bottom those two ports are five gig ports this one here that I'm pointing to is the PoE port and then this is just a regular five gig port so that's pretty much a look at the hardware. Now, what I'm going to do is get this fired up. I'll be back in a second. We'll be on the computer. We'll be signed into the device. I'm not going to go through the setup and how to set up the access points and all that. I mean, I've done that in other videos, and you can check out other people on YouTube as well who have gone through that process. I just want to get right into the testing, so I'll be right back. All right, so the access point is booted up and we are signed into the user interface of the GWN 7672. We are on the SSID menu choice in the left menu here and we're looking at the default SSID out of the box is a tri-band. If we go into the settings of this SSID, you can see everything is default. Security mode is WPA3. We're gonna leave all that. Again, we're going to go with the default settings for the testing. If I come over to the access point configuration tab and we go in and we take a look at the default settings, everything is use system settings or use radio settings. 
Now, what does that mean, use radio settings? Well, in the user interface, if we come over to the menu and we click on radio, you have some global settings here that you can set if you have multiple access points being managed by this device. So as you can see, the 2.4 gig band is set to 20 with a channel width of auto and then power of high. Now for the 5 gig band, it's set to 80 by default, channel width of auto, power is high as well. And now with the 6 gig band, we have the channel width being 80 megahertz, the channel set to auto, and again, the power being set to high. So these are the settings we're going to go with. So let's go ahead now and switch over to the computer that will be running the speed test. I just want to mention too, I failed to mention this when we were going through the spec sheet. So the total number of SSIDs for this particular device is 48, 16 per band. And then as far as power consumption, the maximum power consumption is 25 watts. Now for the testing, I already mentioned that I'm plugged into a 2.5 gig port on my switch even though the access point has a 5 gig port we are connected at 2.5 gig i did confirm that in the switch and then i have also disabled any house wi-fi that's going on to try to mitigate or minimize any potential immediate interference and then just to let you know the gwn 76 72 is about 10 feet away from me back on the workstation behind me just laying flat on a table so these are the testing conditions. So let's go ahead now and run our first speed test. We are connected to the GWN default SSID and we're gonna run a speed test in the tri-band mode with MLO off. Okay, so we have 613 megabits per second down, 356 megabits per second up. So let's switch back to the computer and let's go into the SSID now and let's just turn on MLO and see if it makes a difference. It's supposed to allow the device to connect to all three bands simultaneously, which is supposed to maximize the speed and the performance. Let's see what happens. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit save and then we'll apply the changes and let the access point provision. Okay, the access point has provision. We're back at the speed test. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is still testing the tri-band mode with MLO enabled. Okay, so we have 596 down, 423 up. We did a little bit better on the download with the MLO off, but we did better on the upload with the MLO on. Okay, so now that was the testing of the tri-band without the MLO and with the MLO. Now what I'm gonna do is just set it to six gig band only, do some testing at the defaults, then we'll try playing around with different channel settings and see it, what types of speeds and how it differs and how it affects the performance. So that said, let's switch over now back to the computer and let's go into the SSID and we'll click the edit button. We're going to change the tri-band mode to just the six gig band. We're gonna leave the security again, set to the default. We're gonna come down, we're gonna say save, and then we'll go into the AP configuration once these changes have been applied. And just take a look one more time to confirm that they are actually set to the default out of the box. Okay, let's go into the configuration now and we'll click the edit. And again, everything is set to default. Just wanted to confirm so on the six gig band, the default radio channel width is 80 megahertz. So let's go ahead now and switch back over to the computer and run a speed test on the six gig band with all default settings. Okay, so we should be connected to the GWN default SSID at six gigahertz. So if I hold down the option key on the Mac and click the Wi-Fi signal, we should get more statistics and it looks like we are confirmed on the six gig band on channel 101. So let's go ahead now and run the speed test 
Again, this is six gig band at all default settings. All right, looks like we have 635 down and 392 up. All right, so let's now go back to the computer and let's make a few more changes. Let's go into the actual access point configuration and let's click on the edit button and let's come down to the six gig band. And this time, let's change the channel from 80, the, the default of 80 to 160. And then let's change the channel to let's set it to something. Let's let's go 165. Let's let this provision. Actually, let's let's because I'm only 10 feet away from the device. Let's also change the uh, power from high to medium. Let this provision. And then we'll run another test. OK, we should be connected still to the GWN SSID, hopefully on channel 165. Let's bring up the additional information. And yes, we're on the 6K band on channel 165. Let's run a speed test. Okay, looks like we have 755 down and 504 up. All right, let's go back to the computer. And let's make a few more changes. We need to go into the configuration of the AP. Let's go down to the six gig band. We're gonna jump the channel to 320. Hey, what the heck, let's try it. And go to channel, let's go to the last one, channel 213. Again, let's leave the power on medium let's go ahead and say save we'll let the device provision and then we'll run one more test all right so we're back again and again we should be connected to the gwn default ssid and we are if i add the option key we are connected on channel 213 hmm but we're only connected at the 160 megahertz channel width, not the 320 that I set the access point to. So this could be a limitation of the laptop that I'm using, but let's go ahead for laughs and giggles and let's run a speed test on channel 213 and we're on the width of 160. All right, so we have 776 down and 732 up. All right, so there you have it. Some interesting results testing the GWN7672 Wi-Fi 7 tri-band access point. Again, the conditions here in the studio were that it was plugged into a 2.5 gig port on the switch connected at 2.5 gig. I turned the house Wi-Fi off. If you saw my computer showing other Wi-Fi's in the house, those were from access points downstairs on the actual first floor. However, the one in this studio was disconnected. It is about 10 feet away from me. And that's about all as far as the transparency for the testing environment. Let me post the uh, results of the various speed tests on the screen for you to check out one last time. So there you go, a first look and some testing, some fun testing with the GWN7672 Wi-Fi 7 tri-band access point. Again, I wanna thank Grandstream for sending it to me for my review. Let me know what you think about the test results. I'm sure your mileage may vary as you saw as I was playing with the settings and changing different settings, channels, channel widths, et cetera, that we got different performances from the device. So. Again, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And that's about it for now. Take care.